Alrighty guys, time to review the entire The Great Dark Beyond set. So in this video I'm gonna go over all of the cards and tell you what I think about they're gonna be uh, doing in the new expansion once it comes. I will be uh, having a theory crafting stream tomorrow, uh, thanks to Blizzard, so uh, definitely drop by and check out how we're doing. And if you have uh, some cool deck ideas, feel free to drop them in the comments, would really appreciate ya. But uh, yeah, the, the video is basically from today's bonus stream, where we went over most of the cards, and now that once uh, the last batch of cards just got revealed, I included those as well, so we have the full uh, set of the Great Dark Beyond, so I hope you really enjoy the video. Definitely took out uh, took quite a while to make, uh, but uh, yeah, as long as it helps you, that's all that matters. Now, let's check out the cards. Not prepared. So, starting off with the Starlight Wanderer, Battle Cry, your next uh, Draena you play gains plus two plus one. Sounds like a pretty decent standard uh, tribe card. It should be doing uh, all right, as long as Draena I pick up as a good tribe in Hearthstone. Uh, we should be seeing plenty of this. It's a well statted 2 1, basically a 4 2 uh, for only one mana. Should be, should be a good card in my book. And we also have the Astral Vigilant, 1 mana 1 1. Get a copy of the last Draena you played. Another pretty decent tried supplement card. Should be, should be quite decent uh, as long as the tribe picks up, like I said. We also have a 1 mana 2 1 Pirate. The Space Pirate, kind of looks like Patches. Death Rattle, your next weapon, costs one less. I can see that working out for a 5 mana 3-3 free, free Wind Fury weapon. 3-4 free, Wind Fury weapon, that is. That could work. And it's a Pirate. Pirates love weapons. It's almost like they have synergy, you know? So yeah, those should be pretty fine. 2 mana 2-3 two uh, Drain Eye. Stranded Spaceman. Spaceman, I don't know. Battle Cry, the next Draena you play gains plus two health and rush. Can we just agree it's called Draena? I don't want anybody in the comments telling me I, I, thought I said Draena instead of Drainier or some shit like that uh, for uh, two hours straight. It's Draena. Some people cut tomato, others tomato. Deal with it. Anyway, Battle Cry. The next Draena you play is ga uh, play gains plus two health and rush. Another pretty decent uh, card to be having. Well statted two free is gonna be uh, able to handle any one drop. And uh, yeah, plus two health and rush allows it to be quite reactive and actually stick whatever you uh, give that rush health to. So uh, another decent card if you ask me. Two mana troubled mechanic is. Uh, a 2-1 Drain Eye, Divine Shield, Spell Burst, Draw Drain Eye. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of support for Drain Eye fans. And we are having Drain Eyes from before as well, so... Uh, feels like uh, they should be picking up. Some, uh, some classes will be abusing this more than others, that's for sure. Once we start, start getting uh, uh, to see the exact classes and what support they're getting. Like, half of the classes are getting Drain Eye support, the other half are getting Space uh, Starship support, so uh, half of the classes are going to be using a lot of these, I'm assuming. We also have a 2-mana two 2-1 two Murloc. Give all friendly Murlocs Death Rattle draw a card. That's a ton of card draw, I'm assuming Shaman is going to be loving this, given what they have already. And uh, depending on what they also are getting this, this expansion, uh, who knows, Murloc Shaman might be up for grabs again. Because uh, even just the one mana tiny fin, a couple of one ones like that with this thing, draw two cards, pretty sick. We also have a two mana 2-2 two, two Drain Eye Astrobiologist. Battle cry at the start of your next turn, discover a spell. Bit slow, bit slow. But um it's a Drain Eye again, that's what it has going for it. Other than that, it's uh, a little bit too slow. It gives you that ext extra bit of uh, uh, time to actually figure out what you're gonna need in the next turn. Because a lot of time you play this on curve and you think you're gonna need something like removal or whatever. And uh, next turn happens and you're like, wait, I should have gone for something else. So um, the at the start of your next turn, when played on curve is actually kind of good, because it gives you that little bit of extra foreshadowing. A little bit of extra information to work with, more like it. 
Um, but uh, if you play this later on, when you actually have the mana to play what you discover, not gonna be so uh, amazing. Oh, fuck me, Alex. Fuck that. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Um, I'm revealing whatever the fuck we have till now, and uh, that's gonna be it. Uh, anyway, we also have the two mana free to drain eye hologram operator. Battle cry, get free random temporary drain eye. Hologram operator. Get free random temporary drain eye. Nice refill, but temporary means they uh, get deleted at the end of the turn, so. Uh, you're not really gonna want to play this on curve. Would be an okay-ish thing to refill later with, but a little bit too random if you ask me. I don't know, this is this is a card where you want to play it on turn 5 to, to expect to get one or two playable Draenei to fit in, and even then, what is this classic? I don't think this is gonna be that hot. We can also see 2 mana 2 free uh, Crystal Welder. This is a taunt battle cry. If you're building a starship, gain plus 2 plus 2. A little bit too early to be building a starship. Haven't seen uh, if we actually have 1 mana uh, starship support. We probably do. Uh, in that case, 2 mana 4 5 would be uh, quite strong. And uh, yeah, this should be a pretty good card for uh, starship supports. Would be seeing a lot of it, that's for sure. As long as starships are really good. And I hope they are. We also have the 2 mana Moonstone Mauler. Battle Cry, shuffle 3 asteroids into your deck that deal 2 damage to a random enemy when drawn, including the face. Uh, since the opponent is also an enemy. I did saw the animation with this card, quite funny. Ranchi always gets some nice. Um, yeah, it's an elemental, so good elemental support already exists. And um. Uh, Shuffling a bunch of these, I saw we actually got plenty of support for something along these lines, so uh, maybe it is going to be a, a pretty decent fun deck to be playing with, so good stuff. We also have this 3 mana 3 2 neutral uh, starship piece. It has Divine Shield, that's about it. Not the worst thing in the world to slap on your starship, we already covered this card on the first reveal. So uh, yeah, should be a staple in most starship decks, I would assume. 3 mana 5 1 demon Urzul Rager. Ragers have come a long way. This thing's a lifesteal, spell burst, attack a random enemy minion. Pretty nice. Uh, 3 mana heal for 5, kill a 5 health idiot. Pretty, pretty good thing. Spell burst. Nowadays we have plenty of uh, cheap spells to burst with, including the coin. People have been rating this quite low, as honestly all ragers are. And I wouldn't assume we're going to be playing this in any actual deck, uh, but discovering this could definitely be uh, what you're looking for in some situations, through a cheese or otherwise. 3 mana 2 free uh, Ethereal Oracle is a spell damage plus 1, spell burst, draw 2 spells. Ethereal Oracle. Spell damage plus 1, spell burst, draw 2 spells. Bit expensive. But also, uh, it's basically like a Arcane Intellect with spell damage plus a body. Any spell damage deck would be loving this, I'd assume. I would assume uh, Druid would be uh, running this. Uh, maybe some Nature Shamans shenanigans could start off with this. Uh, Sith Mage could get back on ladder with that thing. Basically, spell damage is going to be pretty happy to see this. There's also a free mana 4-2 Demon. Relentless Ref Guard. Battlecry, deal 2 damage to an enemy minion. If it dies, discover a demon. I did see from the first reveal that uh, Warlock is gonna get some uh, discover demon support. So this thing might actually be onto something if that deck picks up. This is also gonna be uh, potentially a staple in it. In it. There's also a free mana 2 on uh, Escape Pod, Rush, Death Rattle, give Absin minions plus 1 plus 1 and Rush. Okay. <coughs> Another positioning card that might have to get played around for. Uh, even though you're probably not going to be able to position too well with something like this uh, in terms of discovering. And uh, I doubt we're going to be uh, playing this too much. Even though... This is basically like a broomstick, guys. This might actually be hella strong. 
I'm gonna go on a limb here and say this card might actually be a lot more impactful than people are giving it credit for, like sitting at two and a half stars. I mean, I know these uh, ratings are not that accurate or anything like that, but it's still some initial gouge of uh, what people think about these cards. So I do believe this card might actually be uh, a lot stronger than people think. We also have Crimson Commander, a free mana, four free drain. I battle cry and death rattle. Give all drain eye in your hand. Plus one, plus one. Interesting. Hand of a uh, drain eye situation. Battle cry and death rattle. So it's basically a plus two, plus two. Should be strong in drain eye decks. Would would like to think so. Shafar, we already know what that's uh, that's about. Uh, we also have a free mana, two four. Deep Space Curator, Spellburst, get a random minion of the spell's cost, set its cost to zero. Interesting, interesting. This might uh, turn out to be not so bad. Right now it's probably not going to be that hot because there's going to be plenty of minions in the Discover pool, but uh, once April happens and the rotation hits, uh, there's gonna be a little bit more consistency to this card, like you are gonna have a good idea of what you could be discovering on each mana total. So uh, initially it might not be that hot, but later on might turn out to be decent. Uh, but um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a weird one. Definitely not gonna be a bad card in control decks, but then again, would you really fit in something like this in a control deck? Probably not. There's also a free mana 2-5, Perplexing Anomaly, I've seen this card before, pretty hilarious. It has Rush and Taunt and Stealth, aka if you have Rush, why are you stealthing? And also if you have Taunt, well, why are you stealthing? So a pretty, pretty funny card indeed, but it's basically a jack of all trades. It's a 2-5, if you need to kill something with it, you, you kill it. If you just want it to survive on the board, you don't do shit. And uh, if you want to be taunting, you attack into something just so it has the taunt on. So, uh, really, really funny card. I kind of like it. Doubt it's going to see too much play, but it's definitely a funny little card to discover. Get randomly. Should be uh, not a bad out for you as a free drop. There's also a 4 mana 4 4 demon, Doom Maiden. Battle Cry, draw a card from your opponent's deck. If you don't play it this turn, put it back. Oh, fuck, put it back. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That is kind of funny. Um, could be breaking combos and whatnot, but usually combo pieces are more expensive than 5-6 uh, mana, so uh, are you really going to be fitting this card into your deck? I don't think so. There's also a 4 mana 3-4 Arcanite Defense Crystal. It's a starship piece. It has Taunt, Death Rattle, Gain 6 Armor. Pretty nice control uh piece for starship builders. Uh, once we go through the actual Starship classes, we're gonna get a better idea of who would actually like to be running this. I'm assuming Warriors building a Starship, aren't they? Should be, but uh, yeah, not a not a bad piece indeed. Five mana, six four Drain Eye Lunar Trailblazer has Battle Cry. Set the cost of a random spell in your hand to the to this minion's cost. Okay, do we even have ways to discount this guy? Even if we do, it's going to be a little bit too inconsistent, probably. So uh, let's just say it's going to be a 5 mana, whatever. 16 mana Doom Maiden. Oh, for sure. But yeah, this uh, Lunar Trailblazer, it's another Drain Eye. So um, what Drain Eye class is going to want a 5 mana, usually costing 9, 10 mana spell? Going to have to wait and see what the other classes are working with so we can get a better picture. There's also a 5 mana mutating a life form. Damn, that looks fucked up. <laughs> it's an amalgam, basically. It's a free 8 uh, amalgam. After this survives damage, gain a random bonus effect. Bonus. Interesting. Looks like a pretty cool card. Really love the art to it. That's what nightmares are made of. There's also a 5 mana 4-5 uh, tradable Star of Volterra. It's a tradable battle cry, destroy an enemy starship or starship piece. Wait, starship piece? Oh, was this card like that on reveal? I could have sworn it was just saying starship before. I guess it probably was. But that's kind of cool. Because, uh, you know, once you play a starship, it actually needs to die for it to uh, get slapped on the starship you're building. 
And uh, the weird thing about this uh, this uh, card is uh, building starships, like starship buildings that are actually not launched yet. You cannot do anything with them. The only thing you can do with uh, starship uh, in progress uh, is uh, Reno it. So uh, this card will not be able to interact with it unless you actually launch it. As long as starships are super uh, important, people are probably gonna fit in this card because it's a thick card. It has a tradable on it, so uh, definitely you have room to be including things like these. Should be decent enough, uh, but uh, it is just a tech card in the end of the day. We also have a 5 mana 4 7 dragon, star scale constellar. Constellar? From constellation, probably. Anyway, it has Spellburst, double this minion's attack. Okay, so it's an 8-7, basically. Um, kind of okay, sitting at 5 mana. Dragon Druid might like it, but then again, they have so many good dragons already, probably not. 5 mana, 5-5, five, five, Draenei, Ace, Wayfinder. Battlecry, gain 2 random bonus effects. The next Draenei you play gains them as well. Gain two random bonus effects. The next Draenei you play gains them as well. That's kind of hot. Bit expensive for a Draenei card and a little bit too random, but... Yeah, you don't get to discover the bonus effects, you just get them. So, a little bit too expensive for a tribe deck, I'd say. We also have a 6 mana 6-6 six, six beast. A light fused mana saber. Rush, spell burst, gain divine shield. Pretty, pretty strong thing. Uh, to have Rush and Divine Shield, but the Spell Burst is not exactly super easy to pull off for most, so uh, time will tell if this thing is actually somewhat worth it. So far, people say it ain't. There's also a 7 mana Galactic Crusader. It's a 3 9 Drain Eye. Uh, Death Rattle will get 2 random holy spells. They cost 3 less. Sounds crap. We also have a legendary 7 mana 7 7 Demon, Kill Jaden. Battlecry, replace your deck with an endless portal of demons. Each turn they gain an additional plus two plus two. Wait, so uh... Every top deck is a plus two plus two? That's kind of interesting. And it's kind of pretty nice against fatigue stuff. Cool. Cool card, I guess. Uh, should be, should be interesting indeed. Could be slapping this in control decks and whatnot. Definitely makes uh, things a lot more random, but Wheel Warlock might actually love this. Uh, it's basically another way to negate any fatigue damage afterwards. After you've played the wheel, so that could be interesting indeed. We also have a 7 mana 7-7, seven, seven, uh, Drain Eye, Velen, a leader of the Exiled. Cast Taunt, Death Rattle, trigger, trigger the Battle Cries, and Death Rattles of all other Draenei you played this game. Pretty decent. Uh, haven't seen that, um, that many amazing Battle Cries and Death Rattles so far. We, ha we saw some, but nothing really to write home about. I guess once we go into the classes, we're going to see a little bit more uh, actual good synergies with this thing. Uh, but yeah, people seem to love this card. A little bit slow, but it might be uh, pretty good. 7 mana 5 6 demon. Taunt, a lifesteal, costs 1 less for each enemy minion. That's that's just fucked up, man. That's broken as hell. That is it. As broken as they get. Against the token -y deck, you play this for 2 mana, for 3 mana, for 1 mana. Kind of broken. Should be uh, should be slowing down the game a little bit. Maybe that's a good thing. We also have an 8 mana 8, 8 elemental. Splitting space rock. Death rattle, summon 2, 4, 4. Splitting boulders. Let's open this up. Apparently it also splits down to a couple of 2, 2. Uh... Wow, they even go all the way down to 1, 1s. <laughs> into boulders, into stones, into pebbles. Hilarious. Okay, it's a pretty sticky card, that's for sure, but also quite expensive, so I don't know about that. It's gonna be a nice thing to discover to get randomly on the board, but I don't think you're playing 8 mana for 8 8 do nothing, essentially. And the last few cards are 8 mana, 8 8 elemental, red giant. Costs 1 less for each adjacent card. Each adjacent card. 
uh, played well in hand. Am I, by the way, an idiot for saying this accent? I've been saying it accent all my life and it's adjacent, right? Or is that just a British US kind of thing? I don't even know. Probably not. But uh, yeah, costs one less for each adjacent card played while in hand. It's kind of cool, but uh, definitely not very reliable. Like, yeah, slap this with a bunch of cheap stuff, but a bit too unreliable, I think. And we also have a neutral starship, the Exodar. Battle cry, if you're building a starship, launch it and choose a protocol. Let's see what the protocols are. Get copies of all of the starship pieces. Set their cost to 1. That's amazing. Gain armor equal to the starship's health twice. Damn. That's a lot. Offensive formation. Deal damage equal to the starship's attack. Randomly split between all enemies. Well, that looks pretty strong. Uh, does the choose a protocol just happen instantly? Basically... Choose one, get all of these. It's not Death Rattle or something, it's a battle cry, right? Pretty sure it is. Sounds pretty strong, and also this being a neutral. Really, really strong. I mean, it's not a starship itself. Technically, it is. Uh, but uh, it is a starship card, so I'm assuming any starship class would be running this thing. A little bit too... Uh, a little bit too... Powerful for a neutral card. Basically, everybody's going to be running this uh, as long as they're running starships. But uh, yeah, maybe they need the support. And lastly, we have the 100 mana cards. The, C the C Ceaseless Expanse. It's a 1515. Costs one less for each time a card was drawn, played, or destroyed. Battle Cry, destroy all other minions. Costs one less for each time a card was drawn, played, or destroyed. Not sure exactly how fast this thing could be dropping, depending on how much cards you're drawing and whatnot. But, uh, looks like a cool card. There's probably gonna be uh, room for it in something. God knows well there's gonna find room for this card, like... OTK for 100 damage pally with the hammer, right? Hilarious. But uh, yeah, I can't really uh, put my finger on what this will get used for standard right now. There's probably gonna be something. Okay, so that was uh, that was all the neutrals. I'm glad we got that out of the way. Now we're gonna start talking about uh, each individual class and see what we can make out of those. Okay, starting off with Death Knight. Um, we have a one mana double blood room card. Okay, I guess they're going back to some of those uh, double bloods, double unholies kind of deal. That's basically only it. Uh, Orbital Moon. Give a minion taunt and lifesteal. If you played an adjacent card this turn, also give it reborn. Reborn. Taunt and lifesteal and reborn. That's kind of sick. Let's not forget you could do this on a Reska. Although Reska is a rainbow card, right? So uh, you are going to have to discover her with for this Orbital Moon kind of deal. But uh, yeah, this uh, should be quite strong for quite a lot of things. Like you could even give this to uh, someone a copy of uh, Ziliac 6-5 Divine Shield and that's also going to be quite strong. So yeah, it should be seeing plenty of play. As long as Double Blood sees plenty of play, that is. But right now we do have a Double Blood, one on Holy. Or a triple blood, so uh, there is room to improve. We also have a one mana, one free uh, drain eye, ouch and eye, or ouch and eye, doesn't matter. Uh, Death speaker, after another friendly minion is reborn, summon a copy of it. Oh my goodness, I guess these two work well together, so uh, double blood, one unholy might be the way to go. Uh, should be strong, should be strong, and yeah, this seems like uh, quite a lot of support for a Drain IDK. Should be interesting. We also have a 2-mana 3-2. Guiding Figure. Spellburst trigger a random friendly minion's death rattle. It's a starship piece as well. Wait, weren't we supposed to have either Drain Eye support or starship support for different classes? I guess some can have it both ways. Uh, this, I mean, it's just a figure, I guess, that's why it doesn't have the Draenei tag, it's a starship piece. 
Well, kind of interesting. Trigger a random friendly minion's death rattle. Sure, sure. It's a starship piece, so whatever you can get, you're probably going to be using it uh, as long as the starship piece is worth it. Uh, we also have a free mana 2 2, Soulbound Spire. Death rattle, summon a minion with cost equal to this minion's attack. Up to 10. Okay, I guess you can't cheat out uh, the 11 mana giants for Death Knight. That's a bummer for them. So, uh, this being a starship piece again, you are going to be summoning 10 drops for sure, quite easily. And it's another starship, so uh, should be should be good, as long as they're good. We also have a free mana, one blood double unholy, assimilating blight. Discover a free cost death rattle minion, summon it with reborn. Okay, again, these two have a uh, synergy together, but you can't run them with this, because this is double unholy, this is double blood. It's kind of cool, but a bit expensive. But you do get to discover, and it is a death rattle minion, so uh, you're always gonna get something really nice to have reborn on as well to double up on that death rattle effect. So indeed, it should be quite strong. There's also a four mana suffocate shadow spell. Destroy a minion if you're building a starship. Also destroy a random neighbor. Okay, another positioning card. Uh, another positioning card and a random neighbor, aka if you isolate. You are going to be able to actually uh, deny some guaranteed destroys of your important targets. So there's that. Putting the important target in the middle might uh, be a bad idea. So that you could actually play around something like this. Uh, at least when it's free minions, that is. There's also Airlock Breach. It's a 6 mana, 1 unholy, 1 blood card. Summon a 5-5 five, five undead with taunt and give your hero plus 5 health. Spend 5 corpses to do it again? Well, at least this is not just double blood, because if it was with vampiric blood, it would have been quite sexy, but uh, a little bit too much, don't you think? I wonder if you're going to be able to discover extra copies of this. Because uh, vampiric blood did get that treatment. I don't know if they said anything about it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. A bit too expensive, but uh, still. Could be interesting indeed, and people have rated it 5 stars. Probably one of the best rated cards. Uh, it's a qu quite nice defensive card, like 6 mana summon 2 5 fives with taunt, and also uh, gain 10 health, and spend corpses in the process. Some decks are into that shit, so this should be quite strong. And it's uh, basically a rainbow card, so with Necrotic Explosion would be amazing. We also have a 6 mana Legendary Draenei, it's a 5 5 Exerg Maladar. Battlecry, the next card you play this turn costs corpses instead of mana. Oh, damn. That's kind of insane. That is kind of insane. Could you just straight up play Necrotic Explosion? I'm pretty sure Necrotic Explosion is not gonna add up the spent corpses on it. Because it actually casts first and then it amps up the spent corpses, so it's not gonna work like that, but it's a pretty, pretty good way to actually spend a ton of corpses. Uh, should be quite strong, and it's a single unholy, so great in uh, rainbow climatic explosion DKs. Lastly, we have a, another legendary 8 mana 8-8 eight, eight beast, double blood. The 8 hands from beyond. Battle cry, destroy both players' decks, expect, except the 8 highest cost cards in each. Uh, this is going to be an absolute monster of a card against uh, aggro decks, but let's face it, if you reach turn 8, you're probably already uh, in a pretty good spot, or you don't have enough uh, breathing room to actually play this and not die to the board. So uh, probably not going to be that amazing, but uh, you're basically destroying their entire deck like that. So uh, let's say 6-mana uh, this guy and 8-corpse uh, is this guy, then in that case that might actually be pretty strong. So, uh, interesting looking card for sure. It's gonna be breaking a lot of combos. It's gonna be a nightmare for combo decks because you're definitely gonna have uh, breathing room to play this on turn 8 and destroy, let's say, uh, combo druids all of their damaging pieces and just leave them with the expensive Zilliac Cyan or bullshit. You can't kill with those. So, uh, yeah, that might be pretty strong indeed. 
And lastly, we have a 10 mana 8 7 single unholy card, Weakener of Souls. Taunt, Reborn, Death Rattle, Resurrect a different friendly Death Rattle minion. Quite, quite strong with Taunt and Reborn, and that uh, kind of strong uh, uh, Death Rattle effect. It's not gonna be a great card to play on turn 10, but with the help of this thing, it is definitely looking quite spicy and. Uh, yeah, I believe I will be building something along these lines, some kind of deck, a Death Knight like this. Should be seeing some good power. Fend their deck to find Owl faster? What is this Owl you speak of, man? Are you talking about Wild? Okay, that's about it. About Death Knight. It looks, uh, looks promising. Um, the Starship pieces didn't spark that much joy for me, honestly. But uh, the CNE potential is definitely up there. Might might be onto something indeed. Next up we have Demon Hunter, starting off with a one mana headhunt, deal two damage, get a four four crewmate with a random bonus effect. Okay, so these crewmates are some new uh, uh thing for these guys. What the hell? Weren't I supposed to see what the crewmate looks like? Guess we'll see it later. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna have to come back to this one till we can uh, see exactly what the crewmates are. Where the fuck are the crewmates? Oh, there you are. It's a four mana. Okay, so these crewmates actually have a bunch of uh, effects themselves. Four mana, four four, reborn, summon every adjoining crewmate. What's an adjoining crewmate? What the fuck are these words, man? Do I have to bring a dictionary to play Hearthstone now? Like, fuck me, man. What's adjoining? Engine crewmate, divine shield, summon every... Again, they all have the same. So they're reborn, divine shield, rush, wind fury, lifesteal, elusive, poisonous, taunt. I mean, doesn't that mean adjacent? Can't they just write adjacent? So weird. That's That's pretty weird. That is pretty weird. Adjoining implies touching, adjacent doesn't. I mean, everybody would understand what adjacent means in your hand, won't they? Kind of, kind of weird choice of words there, but I guess. Sure. So, coming back to the hand hunt, head hunt again then. Uh, deal 2 damage, get a 4-4 crewmate with a random bonus effect. It's gonna be strong as long as the crewmates are strong and they did, they did seem quite strong. We also have a 1 mana 1-3. One Eldritch being, outcast and spellburst, shuffle your hands. Shuffle your hands? Like, what the fuck? And draw as many cards or what? Oh, shuffle your hands so you can actually get an outcast. Okay, okay, that's actually a very interesting card to have for Demon Hunter altogether. Not sure how important it is right now, but it's definitely very important to the class. Yeah, exactly, Yumo. Yeah, this this should be pretty strong for some outcast shenanigans. Demon Hunter definitely needs a way to actually uh, play around with the outcast in their hands. Should be interesting. We also have a two mana two free, fell fused battery. After this attacks, gives uh, give your other minions plus one attack, and it's a starship piece. A little bit mediocre, but it's a starship uh, starship piece, so we'll we take what we can, I guess. We also have a 2 mana 1 free Drain Eye. At the end of your turn, get a 4 4 crewmate with a random bonus effect again. Well, pretty nice to load up your hand with a bunch of crewmates. So it's basically a 4 mana 12 12 when you get to play one of those, huh? Should be quite nice. There's also a 2 mana emergency meeting. Get two 4 4 crewmates, put a random demon that costs 3 or less between them. Get two 4 4 crewmates, put a random demon that costs 3 or less between them. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. It's gonna be kind of hard to actually uh, uh, get the most out of, out of the crewmates later, but it is minus 3, so uh, as long as you pick something cheap, it should be 0. Could be good, could be good. It's also a free mana infiltrate. Choose a minion, deal free damage to all other minions for free mana. Kind of interesting. Uh, I guess you could even choose the opponent's minions, like if it's some weird death rattle or something, you might actually uh, not want to kill it, like let's say a Pipsy. Uh, and you could also uh, protect one of your idiots on the board and deal free damage to everything else. Quite the strong AoE card. Kind of weird in a Demon Hunter, but I guess in a Starship Demon Hunter it might work nicely. There's also a free mana 2-4 Rush Wind Fury Starship piece. Shatter Shard Turret. 3 mana 2-4, with Rush and Wind Fury. Pretty strong, and also uh, as soon as you launch the ship, you're gonna be able to kill a couple of big men, and get some plus one attack and whatnot. Should be strong. 
Three mana warp drive, a fell spell. Draw two cards. If you're building a starship, they cost two less. That's like uh, the skull, yeah? Gul'dan skull, anybody? Pretty strong. Like, you are going to be building a starship if that's what you're trying to do. You have a two mana, three mana. And there's also a cheap neutral starship pieces, so it should be quite nice indeed. There's also a four mana legendary, five four Draenei. Durdra. Rebel Captain has Rush, Battle Cry, shuffle all eight crewmates into your deck. Death Rattle, draw one. Okay, that, that initially looked kind of wrong. Uh, initially, I thought you get all of the crewmates from your hand and shuffle them back to the deck, but now you get eight new crewmates and shuffle those into your deck, and you draw one of those. I mean, this crewmate mechanic looks kind of strong, so... Uh... Should should be alright indeed. And they're all drain eye, so uh there's synergy to go with that too. Should be good. Drain eye demon hunter incoming probably. We also have five mana free five demon, hostile invader, hostile invader. Battle cry, spell burst, and death rattle deal two damage to all other minions. Oh damn, that's a lot of removal, dude. That is gonna be a nightmare for aggro decks. Control warrior is gonna be popping off with this thing. I doubt it's gonna be anything worth uh, enraging uh, for a warrior for a while and dealing two damage is a little bit too much to enrage stuff. But uh, yeah, this is a hell of a control card, man. Like, it's like uh, Bladestorm on steroids on a minion like that. Pretty, pretty fucked up. And lastly, we have a six mana 5-5 five, five demon. Wait, why the fuck is this a warrior card in Demon Hunter, by the way? What, what is happening, guys? Did these guys fuck up their uh, their library? Oh shit, you can actually keep on summoning, it's not just a 4 mana 12-12? Kinda weird. Why is this a Demon Hunter Warrior card, guys? It's just a Warrior card, isn't it? Can anybody pitch in here? Pretty sure this is just a mistake of the site. Would love to hear from you guys. Pretty sure this is some kind of mistake. Looks like a mistake to me. I would appreciate the feedback. Yeah, probably. So it's a Warrior card, right? Yeah, just Warrior, I thought so. Okay, so I'm gonna scratch that. Uh, I mean, I was literally talking about where the entire time didn't even for a second say it's a good Demon Hunter card or anything like that. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get the warrior. You'll get your time. And lastly, we have a 6 mana 5-5 five, five Demon. Xorthoth, Breaker of Stars. Nice name, bro. Battle Cry, add 2 stars to both sides of your hand. When they collide, deal 5 damage to all enemies. Kind of a cool concept for a uh, uh, demon hunter, something like the outcast shenanigans, but this time you actually want to in-cast uh, the things in your hands. Kind of cool like that. You're just going to have to play a bunch of middle cards in, uh, while you're at it, or, you know, if it's your top deck only cards. You can also just instantly do that 5 damage to everybody. Cool, cool. Definitely looks like a promising um, crewmate. Archetype is gonna emerge out of this. The starship... I mean, I guess crewmate starship Demon Hunter could emerge. Sounds alright, sounds alright. Should be. Should be something, alright. Next up we have Druid. And with Druid, uh, we have... 10 cards, starting off with a 1 mana Arcanite Revelation. Draw a card. If it's a spell, it costs 1 less. Kind of cool. Helps you get your ramp faster if that's what you're into. And usually you are. And uh, card draw is always a good thing to be doing on turn 1. You don't do that much things on uh, turn 1 for most druid decks. So uh, pretty, pretty good card. Quite, quite the powerhouse. But it is draw card, so it's what if. But one mana draw card is usually decent enough with a potential upside. I'll allow it. We also have a two mana astral phaser. Uh, choose one, it's an arcane spell, deal two damage to two random enemy minions, or make one dormant for two turns. Kind of strong, but I'm not sure we're going to really see this uh, card run into anything, it's just going to be a discover in it. We also have a two mana one free starship piece, elusive, your first spell each turn costs one less. Your first spell each turn costs one less. Kind of strong, Druid likes stuff like this. 
Um, like, play this on turn 4. If it sticks, you get to play a 5-mana Crystal Cluster or something like that. Or a next turn 6-mana uh, draw 6 cards or refresh mana, sleep under the stars kind of deal. Uh, and it's a Starship piece, so... Um, Eventually, it's gonna be on a healthy enough body for it to be expected to stick, so could be good. You also have a free mana free free starship piece, it's Starlight Reactor. After you cast an arcane spell, recast it, targets chosen randomly. After you cast an arcane spell, well, this is an arcane spell, but not a very good one. We have some other good arcane spells later on, so um, uh, seems like it's gonna be quite strong. Especially this one that refreshes mana, but we'll get to that right now. We have a 4 mana arcane spell, Distress Signal, summon 2 random 2 cost minions, refresh 2 mana crystals. Really strong, like whenever you can refresh mana crystals, you love that shit. And um, this thing uh, with, with the help of recasting that thing would be pretty nice. Uh, and there was also a way to recast a bunch, I believe. Maybe not. We'll, we'll get to read about that later. But yeah, it looks like a pretty good spell to fill some stuff on the board and refresh. It's basically two mana. Summon two random two cost minions. And after a starship, it could be a zero mana summon four idiots. So pretty good stuff. We also have a legendary four mana free free drain eye. Exer Ophar. Battle cry. If you're building a starship, get three different. Arcane spells and reduce their cost by two. Yeah, this is a different arcane spell So that's gonna be quite nice and we have a few others including this one which didn't spark too much joy and the Arcanite Revelation So I guess arcane Starship Druid would be uh, the way to go would be worth testing that out for sure We also have the five mana Ulu the Ever Drifter 5 mana, 6, 5 beast. Each turn this is in your hand. Gain 2 random, choose 1 choices. Excuse me, what the fuck? What are these choices, bro? Any choose 1 choices from, from before? Including gain mana crystals and such from Guff and whatnot? That's kind of insane, but a little bit too random. It's also going to be so slow. Is the opponent going to be able to see once you get those choose one effects? I guess. So the opponent is going to know you have this shit in hand, but looks pretty strong and sitting at 5 mana, not that bad at all. Once you get to play this. I mean... In the end of the day, are you just going to play this and choose one out of the gajillion you've got during the entire time this was in your hand? Is that it? I guess it's not too bad, but kind of sounds weird, don't it? People seem to be liking it. I guess, guess time will tell how that one pans out. We also have another 5-man arcane spell, Cosmic Phenomena. Summon free 2 free elementals with taunt. If your board is full, give your minions plus 1 plus 1. Can you uh, fill your board with the free? Like, aka, you have only 4 minions, play this. And still summon free two freeze and give him plus one. Is that how it's gonna work? That's kind of nice. A little bit expensive, but uh, it's basically five mana. Summon free free four taunts and give the rest of your four minions plus one. So kind of strong. Should be should be worth the check. And it's again uh, an arcane spell you could could get to recast with uh, starships and whatnot. The legendary could be could be cool. There's also a 7 mana arcane spell, Final Frontier. Discover a 10 cost minion from the past, set its cost to 1. Discover a 10 cost minion from the past, set its cost to 1. Kinda cool, but a little bit too random. Plenty of baddies at 10. But uh, in the end of the day, you're play paying only 8 mana for that 10 drop, so... Uh, how much power crept could have hit gotten? Quite a lot, that's for sure. Probably quite a lot still. But, um, sounds kinda cool. Dark Moon Rabbit, for uh, show. And lastly, we have the 8 mana 8 8 Stargazer. It's a beast. Elusive and Taunt. Spellburst give your hero plus 8 attack this turn and gain 8 armor. Why is it worded like that, guys? 
Why is it worded like that? Why doesn't it just get plus 8 attack and gain armor? I mean, it's literally like that. Whatever. Okay, so it's an 8 mana, elusive with taunt that gives you 8 attack and 8 armor. I mean, that's, that's kind of insane, yeah? Really, really strong. Um, it's kind of expensive, but let's not forget you're going to be playing this on turn 5 or 6, so uh, it's really not that expensive now, is it? You know, if you're doing some uh, Ignis action with the Wind Fury weapon, that plus 8 could be uh, 20 to the dome. Okay, Druid looks exciting. Moving down to Hunter, I think we're missing a card here, so I'm gonna have to add it after they reveal it tonight. And uh, starting off with a 1 mana, Rangari Scout. After you discover a card, get a copy of it. It's a Drain Eye. So you could have some Drain Eye action going around like that. Uh, getting copy of Discovered Cards definitely ain't bad, but what are these Discovered Cards we speak of? From the past, nothing too exciting. To, to remember right now. Maybe we're gonna get some support out of the others. We also have a 2 mana, 0 2 extraterrestrial egg. Death Rattle, summon a 3 5 beast that attacks the lowest health enemy. So this thing can go fa face as well. So that's kind of interesting. And you could actually uh, trigger its Death Rattle twice with the uh, 4 mana Yodler. Could be an interesting egg hunter archetype on its way. Definitely feels like there's plenty of death rattle support here. We also have a 2 mana 2 2 Biopod. Death rattle deal damage equal to this minion's attack to a random enemy. Well, this one is not too exciting, but let's not forget this is a starship piece. So once this uh, becomes a big starship, the death rattle is actually going to be some meaningful attack damage. And it's a random enemy, so it can go face, but it's only a single enemy, so it can go into a 1 wall, so not exactly exciting. We also have a Laser Barrage. It's a 2 mana, deal 3 damage to a minion. If you're building a starship, also damage its neighbors. Ooh, another positioning card. So, uh, 3 damage to 3 minions. Kinda height, sitting at 2 mana. Not super exciting without building a starship, but at 2 mana deal 9 damage like that, kind of good. There's also a 3 mana 2-6 Specimen Claw. After your opponent plays a minions... After your opponent plays a minion, attack it. It's a starship piece. Kind of good, sitting at 3 mana. In a, as a 2-6 it would be quite annoying for aggressive decks, like if they're trying to stick something cheap. That has effect on the board, this thing takes it out. And uh, once you actually launch the starship, it's gonna be uh, dealing with uh, plenty of bigger things. But it can also backfire if the opponent plays some poisonous or what whatnot. Or some death rattle that uh, deals with it. We also have a free mana, 3-4 free Drain Eye, Exer, Nail, Nail? I don't know. Let's just call it Joe. Battle Cry, replace your hero power with tracking. Discover a card from your deck. Looks pretty strong, you know, for a Highlander, uh, for a Highlander Hunter, this is gonna be insanely good. So, uh, this, I would say, is a great Reno Hunter support card. Not sure if we're gonna have that one extra mana to spend to discover cards for anything other than, uh, Reno Hunters, but, uh, who knows, maybe Egg Hunter or the straight-up Starship Hunter could be, uh, Abusing this as well, all around community says it's gonna be a great card, so at least in Reno Hunter, hands down, it's gonna be a great card. We also have 3 mana, 2 free weapon, Parallax Cannon, has plus 2 attack if you've discovered this turn. Okay, so a 4 free 3 mana weapon, but what are you gonna discover um, this early? I mean, tracking is discovered, so it's a 4 mana 4 free basically, like that could be nice. Uh, and you could actually spell uh, tracking into this weapon, so that'd be pretty hot. And this also has spell burst. Your hero is immune this turn. Damn. Well, it's only a single time immune. You can't spell burst perpetually. Uh, but uh, all around, pretty nice damaging card. Four damage on a stick like that. That's twelve damage on a stick, basically. So uh, should be decent, but. Hunter does have plenty of other good weapon cards, so uh, it has stiff competition. There's also this legendary free mana beast. It's a 12-12, Gorm the World Eater. 
dormant for 5 turns. At the end of your turn, destroy the minion to the right of this to awaken 1 turn sooner. At the end of your turn, destroy the minion to the right of this to awaken 1 turn sooner. So this thing destroys your own shit. And uh, I'd assume it's gonna work wonderfully well in a Death Rattle Egg Hunter, so... Uh, Really, really sounds like Egg Hunter is going to be popping. And this thing could help big time with it. Uh, it says it's going to cost 1 mana. Your hero becomes uh, tracking for 1 mana. I mean, it doesn't say it, but 1 mana tracking is 1 mana, so... Yeah. And lastly, we have a 5 mana Alien Encounters. Summon 2 two, five Beasts with Taunt. Costs 1 less for each card. You discovered this game. Wow. Maybe Natalie is going to be pretty decent. Because, like I said, it is Discover, so uh, having Discover each turn, albeit at one mana, could be kind of wonky, but uh, this is a nice support card for something like that, so uh, should be nice. Okay, Hunter looks uh, promising. I'd say Highlander Hunter and Egg Hunter look like uh, interesting things, and slapping in the Starship pieces might also be something, but so far they kind of look clunky, don't they? Okay, apparently one Hunter card was missing here uh, from the Hearthstone top deck site. Uh, here it is, a 2 mana detailed notes. Discover a beast that costs 5 or more, reduce its cost by 2. Doesn't sound like an amazing card, honestly. It does have Discover to it, uh, which is important for the, what was it, the, the 5 to 2 5s. But uh, I'm not sure it's something you're really going to be including in your deck just so uh, you can get these down cheaper. Random beasts, you're really not looking for random beasts, you have plenty to choose from on your own. <sighs> so, we have 2 mana, Spontaneous Combustion, it's a fire spell, deal 4 damage to a random enemy. If you played an elemental last turn, choose the target. It can go face. I guess it uh, has a little bit of support with elemental mage, huh? Not that bad, not that bad. Could be improving the archetype. We also have a free mana elemental, free one blazing accretion. Accretion? Accretion? The fuck is that, man? Battle cry, destroy the top three cards of your deck. Any fire spell or elemental are drawn instead. So if you play this in a nothing but elemental and spell mage, it's a free mana, free one elemental that draws three cards. That's kind of insane. Pretty strong, actually. Okay, Elemental Mage is popping off even more. And uh, it's still going to be quite free. Let's have 3 mana, 3-4 free Elemental. Battlecry, shuffle 5 random fire spells into your deck. They cost 2 less. Fire spells typically are decent removals or face damage, so... Uh, that's kind of not bad, sitting at a 3 mana, 3-4. Free and also giving him discount. Kinda good, make your deck a little bit more inconsistent, but Elemental Mage has plenty of card draw, this guy included, and also the 4 mana that draws as much uh, cards as you played Elementals last turn, so uh, pretty decent uh, refill potential for the deck, should be strong. 4 mana, Pocket Dimension, discover a spell, repeat until you see one for the second time. So uh, this... More often than not, should be discovering you a couple of spells, I'd say. Um, kind of okay. Not sure you'd straight up run this in your deck, though. Feels a little bit weird if you ask me. People have rated this quite high. Maybe I'm not seeing the full potential to this card, but I don't think you're actually going to be putting this in your deck, are you? We also have a 5 mana Ingenious Artificer. Is it Artificer or Artificer? I always call it Artificer. Might be wrong, as I often am. It's a 5 mana, 4, 6, Draenei. Battle cry, the next Draenei you play refreshes mana crystals equal to its attack. Okay. You can do this um, next turn or whatever, as long as you haven't played a Draenei. So that's kind of nice. I don't think I've noticed any too, too uh, huge Drain Eyes, but uh, I guess it has some synergy with this Awakening Pilot. What does this guy do? Exor Hataru. Battle Cry, discover a spell and reduce its cost by one. If you play it this turn, repeat the effect. 
So I guess this into this, this makes it into a zero and you can actually repeat a bunch. Yeah, that's that's a pretty nice uh, way to go. So uh, Drain Eye Spell Mage or something might also be interesting. Probably not so much spell as uh, straight up Drain Eyes, but yeah. Both Elemental and Drain Eye Mage look quite promising. We also have a 5 mana Fire Spell, Solar Flare. Deal 2 damage to all enemies, cost 1 less for each elemental you control. Damn, that's insane, man. 0 mana, five, uh, 2 damage to everything for the opponent. Quite nice indeed. We also have 6 mana, 7, 6 elemental, Sarun. Sarun? Sarun. I don't know, dude. I'm just spitballing here. Battlecry, give all elementals in your deck fire spell damage plus 1. Damn, dude. You're killing it. Stop. It's already alive. Yeah, I guess Elemental Mage is gonna be hella strong, dudes. Confirmed. Elemental Fire Mage incoming. Should be trying that tomorrow on the Fury Crafting Fuss show. The Awakening Pilot also seems pretty decent. At the end of your turn, deal free damage to a random enemy. And with the spell burst summon on a Arc Wing Pilot, you can actually summon yourself quite a few of these, especially if you uh, had this guy played before. This thing goes down to a free mana. Unless you've actually. Uh, Buffed it somehow, but I'm not sure you could. Usually at least, unless uh, you have some of the neutral drain eyes now that I say with the plus two plus one uh, shenanigans could be uh, uh, one mana instead, so plenty of room to spell burst after. Decent. And last we have the eight mana fire supernova. Fill your hand with random fire spells, they cost one. Yeah, definitely looks really, really strong. A little bit expensive, but uh, getting this randomly out of this guy, maybe, uh, shouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I'm just checking if the cat barfed again, but I think she didn't. Uh, so yeah, Elemental Fire Mage looks really promising, and the Drain Eye Mage also uh, is worth a check. We'll see. Moving down to Pally, I'm gonna have to record... The last part for the pally later, once these last uh, batch of cards come. But uh, for now, we have free mana Librum, Librum of Clarity. Our Librum's coming back. Damn, boy. Draw two minions. If this costs zero, give them plus two, plus one. It's a holy Librum. Kind of interesting. Who knows, maybe the next hole up. We don't have any Librums in standard right now, right? Yeah, we don't. It's just by Hearthstone Brew. But uh, who knows, maybe the next core set is going to have uh, Librum's back and these cards are going to become a lot more important later. But yeah, draw two minions. If this costs zero, give them plus two, plus one. Kind of right. I guess we're going to have a way to make it zero, huh? Three mana weapon. It's a two free interstellar star slicer. Battle cry on death rattle. Reduce the cost of your Librum's by one this game. Okay, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. Well, there's our way to discount it. It's just gonna take a while. Uh, apparently, the others are also having some discount situations, so uh, not a bad Librum card for sure. I wonder if Wild Librum Pally is gonna be popping now. Uh, four mana, four to Drain Eye, Interstellar, Wayfarer. Divine Shield, Battlecry, reduce the cost of your Librums by one this game. So, uh, a lot more of this. Kind of cool. And pr plenty of easy ways to discount this, apparently. You also have a 4 mana Librum of Divinity. Give a minion plus 3 plus 3. If this costs 0, return this to your hand at the end of your turn. Wow. So, I guess uh, you get to do this perpetually once you get the discounts going. Pretty broken. And uh, lastly for now, we have a 6 mana Celestial Aura. While you have exactly one minion in play, its attack and health are 10. Kinda cool. With Ankiliax, for instance, would be pretty broken. As if Ankiliax needed more to be broken enough, but still. It is an aura, so uh, it lasts 3 turns. A little bit slow, but if you already have something on the board, it's actually not slow at all. It's a 6 mana, make your shit 10 10, like... King's Blessing of Kings, like seriously. A lot of extra buff like that. So, uh... Should be, should be interesting indeed. Should be a powerful card, I'm not sure in what exactly, but it's up there. That's it for Pally for now, I'm gonna have to come back for it tonight.
And for the final batch of cards, we have the Pally cards. Uh, here's what we're here's what we were missing. Uh, one mana orbital satellite. Discover a Draenei. If you played an adjacent card this turn, discover another. Okay, kind of interesting. A lot of uh, hand positioning stuff uh, in this one. Not gonna lie, it is definitely an interesting uh, mechanic to be uh, playing around with your hand now, but. Uh, Kinda, kinda weird. Well, if uh, if Draenei decks really pick up for Pally, this could be a good one. Discovering a couple of Draenei like that could definitely help. And uh, decks like that tend to be somewhat cheap, so you should be having a fine time uh, playing adjacent cards to this. You can discover even more. We also have this 2-mana uh, 2-2 two -two Draenei, Interstellar Researcher, Battlecry and Spellburst, Draw Librum. Kinda cool. Uh, Librum Pally was definitely a fun deck back in the day. Um... Nowadays, it's gonna be a little bit different, but uh, it does have some potential, so uh, yeah, Libra and Pally might be something to check. Uh, we also have uh, this legendary Erel, 5 mana for free, Draenei, Rush, Death Rattle, get three different Librams from older times. Okay, that's actually kind of fun. Uh, we did have some uh, decent looking uh, Librams from back in the day, the 1-4 the weapon that made everything else into one health, the... Heal 8 plus summon an 8-8 with Divine Shield and Taunt. The plus 1 plus 1 nonsense. That was kind of fun. Uh, and you're getting one of each. Or am I missing something? Either way, it should be kind of cool. The weapon was also a Librum, so I guess you're not guaranteed every time to get the same thing. So there's that. We also have a free mana, free free Draenei with Divine Shield. Not a bad inclusion for the Draenei uh, family. Uh, Pally does like to have uh, minions on the board with uh, their auras and buffs and whatnot, so uh, could be an interesting uh, way for Pally to go. And there's also a 6 mana Librum of Faith. Summon free, free free Draenei with Divine Shield. If this costs 0, give them Rush. Damn. Uh, this is gonna take quite a while to go down to 0. You had plenty of ways to discount, but uh, it involves swinging once a turn and it's also a couple of other minions, so this is not gonna come down 0. Uh, pretty quickly, I'd say. But uh, could be a fun little Librum to have in the deck. Should be definitely worth the check. And the last card is this 6-mana uh, 9-9 nine -nine legendary Lumia. Has lifesteal after a hero takes damage. They become immune for the rest of the turn. That's kind of weird, but I guess you play this more as a defensive tool. That's why it has bigger stats than it's supposed to. Because the opponent can also abuse it. But then again, uh, how much more than K can they abuse it really? Um, if they have Wind Fury, I guess they could attack something small, they attack something big, and they'll take big damage, but really, really sounds like theoreticals. Looks like a cool card, but I'm not sure exactly what you're fitting this in. It's just a, a massive stat dump, uh, with the life still included. I don't know, doesn't, doesn't really spark too much joy for me. What do you guys think? Next up we have Priest. Next up we have... <laughs> we have zero mana gravity lapse. Uh, set every minion's attack and health to the lowest... <laughs> to the lower of the two. Um, interesting. Set every minion's attack and health to the lower of the two. So you're trying to play this against the opponent. But it's a little bit too weird, a little bit too random. I mean, you play it on their boards. I don't know, man. I guess Control Priest might use this, but anything else? It's a cheap spell burst activation, at least. Yeah, but it also works for your shit as well, so I don't know, dude. You also have a one mana overzealous healer. Death Rattle, restore six health to the enemy hero. Spell burst, silence this minion. So instantly they work well with this, but honestly. You kind of don't care about the the death rattle here, unless you're actually playing this into some kind of aggro priest, and are we getting an aggro priest? Let's find out. There's a 2 mana Divine Star Holy Spell. Deal 3 damage to a minion. Give a random minion in your hand, plus 3 health. Well, not the worst effect to have on a deal 3 damage single target. Far from the best either, though. There's another 2 mana Holy Spell, Light Speed. Give a minion plus one plus two and rush repeatable this turn. Okay. That's kind of interesting. You could actually start giving this to a South Sea deckhand. I've actually heard people uh, 
thinking about something like this. Is there a way to make this thing into a zero mana? Perhaps. Or if you just have something on the board already. I was hearing something about the... What's it called? Raza Priest in Standard that might actually use this thing somehow, but I'm gonna have to look into it later, I guess. I don't know, for now. We also have another 2-mana Holy Spell. What's with 2-mana Holy Spells, yo? Orbital Halo. Give a minion, plus 2 and 1. And Divine Shield. Costs 0 if you played an adjacent card this turn. Okay. Kinda good for this potential aggressive uh, Priest I'm uh, considering. Could pop out. Sure. We also have free mana 2 for Drain I. Whenever another minion is overhealed, give that much extra health. Yikes. Anchorite. Could be cool. Priest has plenty of ways to overheal with Funnel Cake and whatnot. There is actually a pretty annoying overheal priest right now without the, the injured hauler, but it's not good enough just yet. But with cards like these, definitely uh, sounds like it has potential. There's also a free mana free free legendary, Kure, the Light Beyond. Spellburst, summon a random free cost minion. Holy spells don't remove this spellburst. Okay, we used to have a 7 mana that kind of did something along these lines. This thing is uh, potentially going to be strong with all of these cheap uh, holy spells, but uh, probably not so strong, is it? There's also a 4 mana 4 2. Mystified Tocha. Battle cry if, you, if the combined health of both heroes is exactly 42. Set your hero, hero's health to 42. That's so weird, man. That is so weird. Like, what kind of deck can use this shit? Really, really uh, weird stuff, but uh, technically speaking, Priest has a lot of ways to manipulate your health and the opponent's health. Like, might actually not be the most uh, BM thing to do to hero power the opponent's face nowadays, huh? I don't know. So far it looks kind of weird, but maybe Control Priest is going to be able to use this, because uh, if you actually drop the Priest down to 12 health and the opponent's at 30, play this and bam, you fucking reno yourself to shit. So, uh, could be quite strong indeed. Okay. Oh, really? Gravity Labs can actually uh, buff automation? Cow sets it lower. I don't know. Anyway, we also have five mana legendary Ascara Drain Eye. It's a four or five chill when Yeti has battle cry. The next Drain Eye you play summons a copy of itself. Okay, and right after we have this Drain Eye, which is kind of big six mana for a Drain Eye Taunt, Lifesteal, and Divine Shield. Shield of Ascara. Well, it's in the name, guys. These synergies can't make themselves up. Yeah, I guess they're kind of strong together. And um, I guess Draenei Priest might be up to something. Draenei might be up to some no good. Yeah, but this one uh, sets it to the lower of the two. So uh, doesn't that make automation into a 1-1? One -one? Not sure that's going to work the way you think it is. I don't know. Might be wrong as I often am. Okay, moving to Rogue. You can see we have one mana starship schematic. Discover a starship piece from another class. Okay, that's gonna be pretty fun for Rogue. I can tell you that much, yeah, yeah. I guess Rogue is gonna be up to no good with starships. Should be quite broken. I wonder what broken combinations this can actually emerge. We also have a one mana space rock collector. A 2 1 Drain Eye. Your next combo cards cost one less. Your next combo card costs one less. I guess something combo -y for Rogue is gonna be uh, helpful like this. Some Sonya bullshit. I really wish they fucking nerfed Sonya to the ground, honestly. It just enables so much bullshit. Um, but I'm assuming this card could become an integral part of some nonsense deck like that. 
We also have a two mana one three demon, Eredar Skulker. Combo and spell burst. Uh, game plus two attack and stealth. Okay, so you let's say uh, backstab play this on turn two, or coin this out on turn one. It has three attack with stealth, and then you uh, next turn use another like go face spell burst and become a five three with stealth. That's kind of broken, but it is a demon. It's not a mech, so. It's not as broken, but still kind of broken. Apparently not so broken according to the community, and they're probably right. We also have a 2-mana 3-2 Drain Eye. Death Rattle, get a random starship piece from another class. Okay, I mean, are these even having starship pieces of their own? Or they're just gonna be doing some fucking amalgamation of a, a starship at the end? Kind of interesting, not gonna lie, it should be a pretty fun deck to be playing, but will it be competitive? Probably not. There's also a 2-mana Lucky Comet. Lucky Comet. Discover a combo, minion. The next one you play triggers its combo twice. Oh my goodness. That's kind of broken. What combo pieces could you actually trigger twice and feel amazing about? Probably plenty. But I have been straying away from combo rogues for so long, I have no idea, honestly. But uh, it should be strong for sure. There's also a free mana pressure points. Deal free damage to a minion. Reduce the cost of combo cards in your hand by one. Okay, they're really reinforcing these combo shits, huh? Not a big fan, but we will see how that one goes. There's also a free mana barrel roll. Deal five damage to an undamaged ch character. Costs one if you're building a starship. Kinda cool. Kinda. One mana backstab for five damage. Could be interesting, I guess, but uh, we will see. We also have a four mana 4-4 four, four demon legendary Tolgaf. Undamaged enemy minions take double damage. Combo, get a backstab. So uh, backstabs deal four damage like that. This thing deals ten damage like that. Kind of strong. And we also have a five mana starship legendary piece. When this is launched, summon a copy of the starship. Damn, son. Yeah, I really feel like maybe the starship uh, shenanigans with the random starship pieces is gonna be quite strong with this legendary. Could be interesting indeed. And uh, lastly, we have a 6-mana Quasar. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Reduce the cost of all cards in your deck by 3. And how are we drawing them back? <laughs> So you just shuffle everything back and you're with an empty hand, but you discounted everything by free. I guess it's strong, but you gotta get lucky top decking uh, a bunch of a bunch of draw. Yeah, I guess you could use the location and whatnot. I guess, I guess, now that you said it, their location will allow them to actually start drawing plenty. But it still looks a little bit wonky sitting at 6 mana especially. Guess we'll see. Okay, moving now to Shaman. How's it going, guys? Maxi Bon in the house. Welcome, welcome, lad. You, you mad lad, you. And how's it going, uh, White Beard as well? Happy to have you. We're going through all of the cards. One shot, one kill. Single take, you know. You saw we're no strangers to two hour recordings, so, uh, we're doing just that right now, non stop talking. So let's keep on talking. Uh,. I saw you were also tinkering with some of the decks already, Maxi. So, uh, what what seems to be sparking a lot of joy for you? What do you think is going to be the next the next best thing? The next for the OTK doo doo? That kind of nonsense, huh? Rogue seems to have the worst legendary yet again. Does it though? I don't know, man. Seemed like kind of kind of okay. Seemed kind of okay, but then again, I'm not big of, on uh, creating decks. So, what do I know? Excited to try Quasar? It looked interesting. I guess with the location you're gonna be able to draw plenty, but feels a little bit weird, don't it? We shall see. Okay, uh, starting the Shaman stuff, we have one mana First Contact. It's a no tribe spell. Summon two random one cost minions, overloads by one. Kinda weird, kinda weird. A little bit decent for something like Nostalgia Shaman, but we're used to summoning two one-drops uh, without overloading, so I don't know about that. 
I'm seeing a lot of overload here, so I'm assuming we're gonna have a way to un-overload or something. Uh, two mana Planetary Navigator. It's a two mana free to Draenei. Battle cry, the next Draenei you play costs two less, but has overload too. Fuck me, man. A lot of overload. Surely there's a way to unload. Uh, more Draenei support, so might be onto something here. We will see. Two mana Triangulate. Discover a different spell from your deck. Shuffle three copies of it into your deck. I saw this in the in the Elemental Shaman showcase. It was looking quite promising uh, with a bunch of those asteroids and such. Could be cool. Could be cool for Elemental Asteroid Shaman. Speaking of which, we have a free mana free to Elemental. Ultraviolet Breaker. Battle cry, deal free damage to an enemy minion, shuffle free asteroids into your deck. How it all started. And uh, we also had a neutral asteroid shuffler, didn't we? There's also this four mana free six elemental, Bolide Behemoth. Battle cry, your asteroids deal one more damage this game. Spell burst, shuffle, fr shuffle free of them into your deck. So basically, this is incendious, but with asteroids. Kinda cool. Uh, definitely seems like they're pushing this uh, Elemental Asteroid Shaman as much as they're pushing the Fire Elemental Mage, so uh, both are se uh, seeming to be quite strong, newbie-friendly decks. We also have 5 mana Legendary, 6-4 Draenei, Farseer, Nabundu. Death Rattle, open the Galaxy's Lens, it absorbs the power of the next spell you cast, what the fuck? What is that even? It's a location apparently, it's a 5 mana, 2 durability location, the galaxy's lens, spell burst, absorb the spell's power. So I'm assuming you use it twice afterwards. Like, uh, oh wow, that's a sick ass uh, signature. But uh, yeah, apparently the location allows you to use the spell two more times. You're not going to be able to refresh it, you just play it after one more turn, I guess. Let me let the cat out real quick. Uh, what are these big spells uh, Shaman would like to repeat a bunch? We have some, but from the ones we have so far, I guess you could buff your uh, deck with plus two, plus three, your hand deck and battlefield plus two, plus three. Uh, Technically, you could summon a bunch of two fours. Cliff dive? Question mark. I don't know. Plenty of decent spells, so uh, could be interesting indeed. Highlander Shaman for sure is going to be abusing this, and maybe some other uh, Shaman that wants to be repeating a particular spell over and over could also be pretty happy with it. We also have a six mana six six elemental murmur. Your battle cry minions cost one, but immediately die after being played. Well, I saw that from the raunchy animation that has some nice synergy with these elemental idiots. Um, could be nice indeed, but not being able to build a board anymore. Sounds a little bit rough, but probably not going to be that bad. This guy's a death rattle, by the way, not a battle cry, so that makes it a little bit slower, but still probably strong. We also have a six mana meteor storm. Deal five damage to all minions. Shuffle five asteroids into your deck. Even more asteroid support. Can't make this shit up. Should be pretty strong. Also a seven mana five five drain eye. Cosmonaut. Battle cry. Discover a spell from your deck. Reduce its cost by five. Well, given it's a seven mana five five. But you do get to discover, so uh, getting yourself a one mana meteor storm like that, not that bad. And apparently this nebula. Is also quite expensive and it allows you to discover two 8 cost minions to summon with Taunt and Elusive. Pretty strong doubt we're gonna be seeing this in a uh, Elemental Meteor Shaman though. But uh, it is quite quite the powerful thing. Quite the powerful thing. What did I think about Kill Jaden? Seems pretty decent. Will Warlock might be able to abuse it nicely. And uh, maybe some other demon. Demon war, uh, Warlock might also be happy with it. Cool, cool, cool. So that's about it for Shaman. Elemental Asteroid Shaman definitely seems to be the way to go. But uh, we also saw some other cool.
multiple cards for potential inclusions in older decks. Moving now to Warlock. We have the zero mana health stone. Pretty funny. Uh, it's a tradable. Restore all damage your hero has taken this turn. So uh, pain lock is going to be quite healthy. Uh, being able to use this, but would you really include this in a pain lock? Like this is just one extra card. It's not an 8-8 giant. It's not a big uh, card that can... Uh, just close the game nice and quick. I'm not really sure straight up Pain Warlock is actually going to hold on to this as much. But I might be wrong. Uh, we also have a 2 mana 2 free elemental. Actually restores all damage your hero has taken this turn. That's only on your turn, right? Not from what your opponent did to your face, I assume. It's a 0 mana, but I don't know. I don't know. I think we're okay with taking the damage and sticking it. We also have a 2 mana 2 free elemental uh, for 4 Bodding Flame. Battle Cry, demons that didn't start in your deck cost 1 less this game. Demons that didn't start in your deck cost 1 less this game. Hold up. Whatever. Um, yeah, exactly. Employ it a month, I think, does a better job than this health stone, so um, just just takes up a slot, I'd say. Yeah, hold up. Ah, fuck it. Okay, where were we? Uh, demons that didn't start in your deck cost one less this game. Kinda cool, we did see uh, plenty of uh, Discover uh, Demons. We are about to see plenty of discovered demons here, and uh, we also saw from the neutrals we're gonna get some uh, demons that didn't start in your deck, and also this is gonna work uh, well with Kill Jaden, so um, good stuff. We also have a 2 mana, 3 2 Heart of the Legion, a Lifesteal Starship piece. Okay, so Warlock is building a ship. 2 mana, 3, 2, lifesteal, starship piece. Not bad, giving yourself the lifesteal on your starship is probably got, uh, gonna be pretty decent. We also have a 2 mana, abduction ray. It's a shadow spell. Get a random demon. Reduce its cost by 2. Repeatable this turn. Kinda cool, but probably not really. Um, we'll see how good the whole discover random demons shenanigans is gonna be. So far it hasn't been great, but this one definitely is trying to push it hard, doesn't it? Uh, there's also this 3 mana 2 free starship piece. It's a uh, Fellfire Thrusters. Spell burst, deal this minion's attack damage to two random enemy minions that can't go face. Kind of strong, as soon as you launch the starship, you get to control the board nice and good, and you also get the heal back to full, basically, with uh, Heart of the Legion, so it should be pretty powerful starship for Warlock. Seems like it's gonna be a control Warlock kind of deal. 3 mana Infernal Star... Stratagem? What? Stratagem, I don't know what that is, but uh, it's Infernal is what it is. Give a minion plus 3 plus 3. If it's a demon, your next one costs 2 less. It's a fell spell. So your next demon costs 2 less. Decent demon synergy there. As long as demon uh, warlock is fine, this probably is going to be a part of it. We also see this 3 mana 3 free legendary. Kara the Dark Star. Spell burst. Steal 2 health from a random enemy. You can do this from the opponent apparently as well. Shadow spells don't remove this spell burst. How many shadow spells do we have, man? I guess you can do a bunch with this, but sitting at two mana can't steal that much. Do we have old cheap shadow spells to do a bunch of? Probably not enough, right? Kinda sounds promising, but it probably isn't. Uh, we also have six mana fell spell, bad omen. In two turns, summon two sixes demon, uh, six six demons with taunt. If you're building a starship, summon them now. Okay. So if you're building a starship, it's a 6 mana, 12, 12 taunts on the board, huh? Kinda cool. And I guess that's all, the only time you play this. Once you actually have a starship building. Should be quite, quite the good card, I feel. For the starship synergy, at least. We also have a 7 mana, 7, 7. Archimonde is a battle cry demon. 
who is a drain eye apparently, but it's a demon now. Battle cry, summon every demon you've played this game that didn't start in your deck. Well, I mean, that's gonna be uh, quite powerful, quite powerful uh, stat dump. You should have been able to play a bunch of uh, demons that didn't start in your deck by then, but probably not a full board load. Kind of looks interesting. Community doesn't seem to believe it's that strong, but maybe it's fine. And lastly, we have an 8 mana black hole. Uh, Shadow spell, destroy all minions except demons. So it's a twisting nether without the demon sport. Pretty, pretty strong for a demon deck, I guess. Because uh, as you guys see, these demons are not exactly screaming super aggro. Uh, so it's probably going to be a mid rangey deck with a little bit of control tools in it. Could be interesting. Not sure we're going to see this in top legend, but uh, should be a fine uh, deck from Diamond Legend, perhaps. We're just spitballing here after all. And lastly we have Warrior. Okay, filter that thing. Warrior. Yeah, there's the, there's the hostile invader we saw earlier in the Demon Hunter for no good reason. Yeah, starting off with a 2 mana Jettison. Discover a spell, spend 2 armor to discover another one. Kinda cool. Warrior uh, has plenty of good spells to discover, and most of them are fat removals or armor gain card draw, so uh, they're gonna be more than happy to spend that 2 armor. They are gonna have a gajillion after all, why not? So uh, should be a strong card for Highlander Warrior especially. Crystalline Great Mace. It's a 2 mana 2-2. Two -two. After your hero attacks, give all Draenei in your hand, plus 2 attack. So apparently they're pushing some Draenei synergy here for a more aggressive type warrior. Haven't seen that in a while. They're gonna have to give it quite a lot of support. Let's see if they do. 3 mana 3-4 three, Draenei. Expedition Sergeant. Battle cry. The next Draenei you play immediately attacks a random enemy. Kind of strong, with all the plus attack it's going to be having. Attacks a random enemy, including face, so um, yeah, okay, I like where this is going. Also, there's a 4 mana 5 for Draenei, Unyielding Vindicator. Battle cry, the next Draenei you play gives your hero its attack for that turn. Oh man, that's a lot of damage, bro. Like, if you slap three th uh, two times with this thing, that's plus four as is. And there is, like, potentially 11, apparently, Draenei. Sheesh. Apparently, aggro Draenei, where is gonna be a thing, yo? Might have to try that one. Looks strong. The next Draenei you play gives your hero its attack for that turn. So you don't have to play it this turn. You play this on four, and next turn you play this thing, it's 11 damage like that. Jesus. Could be good. Um, this thing is a 4 mana 7 to Draenei, immune while attacking at the end of each turn. Swap this minion's attack and health. Oh my goodness, that's a fucking legendary right there, isn't it? That's gonna be so hard to deal with. That is a very strong card. Am I dumb for thinking this is super OP? Why are people rating this as a 3? That's a fucking 5, isn't it? Sitting at 4 mana with all of these stats. It's a 7-2, turns into a 2-7 or a 2-9 if you've buffed it. And then it comes back to a 7-2 ready to slap mouth. I don't know, dude. Or ready to kill something while having immune. Really sounds uh, like a good card to me. We also have a 4 mana Captain's Log. Uh, draw 2 cards, costs 1 less for each Drain Eye you control. Pretty strong for the Drain Eye, ar uh, drain eye archetype. I really feel a Draenei Aggro Warrior is going to be a thing, and this card is going to be great in it. We also have this 5 mana 3-5 Demon we already saw, which looks to be a pretty good control card more than anything else, because uh, it deals 2 damage to all other minions, including your own, so I doubt you're going to want to play this on your own shit. We don't have that much enrage action going for Warrior nowadays, and even if we did, 2 damage is just going to kill most, so there's that. But as a control Highlander card, that's going to be pretty broken. We also have 5 mana, 3, 6, Draenei, Exar, Hakama. After this attacks, all other friendly minions can attack again. Ex except Exar, Hakama, obviously. 
This is actually kind of strong because uh, you could set it up with this thing. Battle cry, the next Draenei you play gives your hero... No. The next Draenei you play immediately attacks a random enemy. So if you actually have a bunch of Draenei on the board, uh, you finish your turn with this. Next turn you play this thing. After you've attacked with everything, that's, that's actually super strong. People feel like underestimate this Draenei package, yeah? Tier 1 incoming? Probably not, but definitely mid-tier 2 at least. I'm gonna be trying this shit. And the last couple of cards, 6 mana, 6, 7. Legendary Spore Empress Moldara. Start of game, shuffle 7, replicating spores into your deck. These replicating spores are 5 mana legendary spells. Summon a random 5 cost minion. Your future replicating spores summon it as well. It's kind of strong, but a little bit too slow. Maybe a Highlander warrior will be okay with it, but honestly, you're shuffling seven non-win condition cards in your deck, and you're actually gonna have to pay the five mana to summon these, and you don't draw cards. So I don't know. Kind of sounds interesting, but I'm not sure we're gonna see much of this thing. And lastly, we have a 10 mana dwarf planet. Fill your board with random two cost minions that attack random enemies. This can also go face. But I'm not really sure you're gonna straight up put this thing into your deck, it's just way too expensive. Maybe you're gonna discover it here and there from Jettison, but straight up holding on to it, I don't think that's gonna be happening much. Okay, well, apparently that's it. Apparently that's it for now. A few more cards are gonna get released a little bit later, but I'm just gonna record those offline when they come, and I'm gonna upload this whole thing. Mostly unedited over at YouTube, so you guys can have a place where you can see all of the cards in a single less than two hour uh, video and uh, get acquainted with all of these. I was gonna read these on my own anyway, so might as well make a video, make a stream out of them, you know? Might as well hang out with you guys for a little bit. That was a lot of talking, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I'm talking to the YouTube people, you on stream. You can still open this YouTube and like and subscribe and whatnot. I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. But uh, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Crystal5 and I'll see you in my next video or stream.